Hey guys, this is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this is an iPhone 5 comparison speed test. I've got AT&T, T-Mobile, and Verizon networks. These are all iPhone 5s, and we have LTE uh, actually right underneath the Bay Bridge of San Francisco. Um, so I'm going to just show you what you can expect from speed tests, at least from this location. Speeds vary from block to block, house to house, building to building, uh, even when you do have strong LTE coverage. Let's just see what we have here uh, right now. AT&T is my primary network now. That's something that I wouldn't have expected to say just a couple of years ago. Uh, Verizon was my first 4G LTE service, and they used to be really speedy here in San Francisco, but as you can see on the right, things have slowed down quite a bit. So on the left side, you can see that AT&T's first run is doing quite well, 13.3 megabits per second down, uh, 10 and a half up. T-Mobile is not actually a little bit ahead this time at 14.17 uh, down, 6.36 up. And Verizon is barely there in the upload side of things and just 2.2 megabits per second down. That's 3G speeds, quite honestly. And that's really not going to cut it for things like uh, wirelessly tethering your laptop to your phone. Let's run this again. Give everybody another shot. And... As you see, at and is off to the races, so is T-Mobile, um, and Verizon's still struggling. And I see this pretty consistently throughout San Francisco in terms of at and being the fastest and the most consistent. Uh, we do see bright spots of Verizon, uh, but as you can see in the top left corner of the iPhone 5 with Verizon, we do have decent signal, uh, but this, this is just unacceptable. Um, and it's really too bad because uh, they used to be sort of king of 4G LTE in San Francisco. Uh, moving over to T-Mobile, um, very acceptable speeds. It's plenty fast enough to do stuff like stream video. The problem is with T-Mobile right now, it's, it's the newest entry into the LTE market in San Francisco, and it's just not available everywhere it needs to be. So for example, in my house, uh, I have LTE in the front bedroom, I have 4G in the back of the house and in the middle of the house, I'm on edge. And that's just not consistent enough. AT&T, I see speeds are pretty quick consistently in the 7 to 27 megabit per second range throughout San Francisco pretty much. And when 4G LTE isn't available, we have HSPA plus coverage that's often in the 4 to 6 megabits per second range. And again, with Verizon here, it varies from block to block, building to building, but more often than not now, unfortunately, I'm just seeing very low speeds from Verizon. Um, now, this is just in San Francisco. There's other parts of the Bay Area and other parts of the country where things will be exactly the opposite. You'll see Verizon just outperforming everybody else, um, especially even AT&T and T-Mobile. It's, it's a hit or miss. It's really plenty fast enough. Uh, but at least in San Francisco, it's not quite ready for prime time. I'm still recommending AT&T uh, 4G LTE to anyone that lives in San Francisco and uh, plenty of other places. The other networks will better serve you. This is Xavier with Gotta Be Mobile, and this has been a 4G LTE speed test.